So there are a lot of doubts in our mind about the RET 2023 BHU PhD admission or CUET or NTA. कौन कराएगा एग्जामिनेशन कैसे होगा एडमिशन एंड व्हाट आर द पॉसिबिलिटीज वेदर वी हैव टू वेट और वी कैन गो विद सम अदर इंस्टीट्यूशन और यूनिवर्सिटी सो टुडे विल डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट सो दैट योर डाउट्स योर क्वेश्चंस योर क्वायरीज विल बी रिजॉल्व एंड यू जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द प्रोसेस एंड वॉट विल बी गोइंग इन द नेक्स्ट टू थ्री मंथ्स so we all are waiting for the application forms of the vhu correct either in the form of ret or in the form of like nta cuet notification so we all are waiting for that even you see these people are just daily browsing the websites of the vhu online or ac.in that whether the application forms are there whether is there any notification for the phd is not so yes true i agree with that with everyone the comments are all genuine कि वी ऑल आर वेटिंग फॉर द एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म्स नाउ वॉट विल हैपन द रेट विल हैपन रिसर्च एंट्रेंस टेस्ट सो द आंसर इज नो बिकॉज वी हैव ऑलरेडी चेकड द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफिशियल न्यूज जो बी एच यू ऑफिशियल की तरफ से रिलीज हुई थी वी सी की तरफ से जिसमें कि क्लियरली मैंशन था कि लाइक द पी एच डी एडमिशन इन बी एच यू विल बी थ्रू सी यू ई टी NTA will conduct the examination so ret will definitely not conduct in the upcoming months because NTA CUET is just an organization NTA is just the body to conduct any entrance examination so jo log bhi usko examination ke liye approach karta hai they will conduct in a proper and a sequential manner ek centrally exam ho jata hai jaise UG aur PG ka CUET examination hota hai similarly the ret will be conducted by nta this is clear now so ab hoga kya nta examination conduct karayega kab aayega forms ye bahut dimag mein khichdi paki hui hai ab hone kya wala hai i'm telling you there will be two parts through which admission for the phu phd admission will be done so the first part will be exempted category i uh, i guess you most of them has already gone through the application of JNU. अभी JNU एन यू का फॉर्म आ रखा है एंड दैट जे एन यू फॉर्म इज द पार्ट वन इन दैट पार्ट वन ओनली एंड ओनली दोज हु आर हैविंग द जे आर एफ एक्सटर्नल नेशनल एग्जामिनेशन फेलोशिप होल्डर्स आर ओनली एलिजिबल टू अप्लाई दिस जे एन यू पी एच डी एप्लीकेशन फॉर्म सो ये सेम चीज बी एच यू का भी होने वाला है इन दैट वट हैपन maybe within a month you will get a notification of ret exempted or phd exempted forms usme kya hoga only those student those who have csir grf ugc grf net gate slet set dst inspire aur jitne bhi national level ke examination hai icar वो लोग इस फॉर्म को फिल करेंगे दैट विल बी द एग्जम्पटेड एंड डायरेक्टली इंटरव्यू होगा एंड ऑन दैट बेसिस यू विल बी एंटर्ड इन यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर पी एच डी एडमिशन सो दैट मस्ट बी देयर एंड मे बी विद इन अ मंथ यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पटेड सो दोज हु आर ऑलरेडी हैविंग द जे आर एफ ऑलरेडी हैविंग सम नेशनल लेवल एग्जामिनेशन कैन वेट और कैन अप्लाई Earlier than the second part. Now, what will be the second part? First part, I guess, सबको clear हो चुका हो अभी still अगर पहले part से related कुछ भी doubt हो you just comment me. I'll clear your doubts. You can also join our Telegram group. हम लोग regular discuss कर रहे हैं and this is the one of the best platform through which all the researchers, all the applicants are communicating. Otherwise, बाकी groups में nobody has allowed to communicate. this is just for the notification but this is not for the notification now what will be the second part ab jo second part hoga jaise ki jnu ke application mein clearly mention tha those who want to give entrance examination to join the jnu for the phd you have to wait you have to visit regularly the nta website 
the applic the entrance examination detail the brochure all examination detail will be updated in the nta cuet website so similarly bhu will also put a notification that for research entrance test ret you have to visit the nta examination yahi hone wala hai and that will be there so hoga kya ab hamari seats divide hone wali hain jo part 1 mein tha exempted let's say jaise jnu ne clearly kar diya कि इफ दे हैव 600 हंड्रेड सीट्स सो फोर हंड्रेड सीट्स विल बी थ्रू द एग्जेड कैटेगरी ओनली द जे आर एफ होल्डर्स विल कम एंड ज्वाइन दीज फोर हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड सीट्स एंड रेस्ट टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड सीट्स विल बी थ्रू द एग्जामिनेशन सो सिमिलरली बी एच यू में भी होगा सम सीट्स विल बी डिवाइडेड फॉर द एग्जामेड स्टूडेंट्स एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द सीट्स विल बी थ्रू एन टी ए और सी यू टी सो दे द यूनिवर्सिटी इज कैलकुलेटिंग द टोटल नंबर ऑफ सीट्स so that they can just display on their brochure that this much of seat number is available in botany zoology history english management etc 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 got it i guess ye bhi clear ho chuka hoga this must be happens so seat must be divided so definitely jo examination dege aayenge unke paas kuch kam seats hongi because unko university ki fellowship milegi aur unka bhi interview hoga so examination for all so those who are waiting for this part i recommend you you have to wait at least 2 3 month ye delay hone wala hai because this is a process this is a process of university and nt and cuet to abhi usme time definitely lagne wala i am telling you so those non net student those who are waiting they have to decide i am abhi main aapko road map dikha deta hu uska so those who want to register without net you have to wait a lot now this is the whole process through which you will be registered like bhu ke andar phd karna hai so if you are exempted then within a month you will get a notification regarding application a form bharoge interview doge then you will be registered in the bhu for the phd admission if you are entering through a project ab kuch log bolenge what is that process through project what is this the new thing so this is not the new thing you can just visit our previous video i'll put the link on the description also ki how to enter through the project this is a new this is not the new clause this is a very old clause but nobody gets knows this clause so i have put emphasize on this clause because i have seen many students those who have registered through this clause so why you not got it so through project you can also enter if you are non net then you have to now wait for the nta or cvt notification the examination will be conducted and you will be entered again back to the bhu phd but it can take time so for that you have to qualify that examination ho sakta hai kuch qualifying marks ho so if you will qualify then you will enter in the bhu phd examination so finally you have to enter in the bhu phd examination so you have to decide ki mujhe wait karna hai or will go somewhere else because uh, many forms are available kuch aa rahe hain kuch aa chuke hain kuch aayenge so what you have to be very sincere ki aapko wait karna hai you have to take admission in much better institution or i can say a different category of institutions so this is all about ret or cuet i know you all are waiting i'm also waiting for the notification but the things i guess it's very clear to you so that is my motto of this discussion like your points must be clear ki kya hone wala hai and jo bola hai definitely yahi hoga jab ho jayega then you just comment me ki sir you was right so thank you so much for watching still if you have any doubt about regarding any section then just comment so that we can clear your doubts in our next video so bye bye take care